Hello, this is uh, Lance from Switzerland and I'm going to show you in this tutorial uh, a basic setup for military which is um, or was actually for me the hardest part to get into um, because it is a it is not really self-explaining the whole interface and uh, I hope I can make it a little bit easier for you um, so uh, we're gonna dive right into it. Uh, for this tutorial I created um, some armor and uh, some weapons made out of iron. Um, it doesn't really matter whether they are out of copper or of iron right now. Uh, just make sure that you um, have something to arm uh, your people uh, with basically and um, we are just going to um, first to start off in uh, the military screen. Um, the military screen is accessed uh, by pressing M I think uh, you figured that out so far and um, in here you can do some uh, um, pretty nasty stuff once you know how to handle it. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to see uh, here an overview on how much stuff you have. I have zero squad, zero soldiers, zero reactive so I'm going to create a squad. Um, I don't uh, really care about these two uh, leaders so far. I'm going to go into them um, in a second. So uh, you press C for um, create squad and then I can uh, take from these uh, presets um, what I want them to be basically. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, leather and metal armor are basically uh, close competence um, and that they can choose a weapon of their uh, uh, preference. Uh, it's usually um, the thing that they're most skilled with and um, the archers are just uh, choosing um, marksman stuff like um, crossbows. Um, make sure that you, take, that you take something from here or that you create a, um, a preset yourself. Uh, it's a little clumsy in the beginning so I suggest you just take one of these presets they are perfectly fine for the start and I'm going to take metal armor because I created already some breastplates, mail shirts and um, iron swords. So I press enter and uh, there we are. They are called the Friendly Irons. Um, it's a squad that has um, a uh, leader vacant and um, nine other positions. So I'm going to add um, some people in here and uh, it's advisable to check with a dwarf therapist first if you are serious about it on uh, what skills they have. So if I go in dwarf therapist um, to uh, military I can see um, what skills they have. Some are really good siege operators, some are good dodgers and so, and so forth and um, here I see basically their qualifications and the weapons. So if you have someone that is really standing out from something um, don't waste his experience, just take him as that and get started with it. I'm not going to go deeper into that, you can uh, look that up for, for yourself, that's not really hard. So um, uh, we're going to um, pick someone for the first position as um, the squad leader. You can see here whether there are any relevant skills for this guy, so uh, you can just go down a little bit and you see, oh there we have a novice hammer dwarf. Uh, um, Something else, please. Skilled Hammer Dwarf. Okay, I'm just gonna take him as a leader. It's perfectly fine for now. And I'm going to take four more people, so I have five in the squad. And um, I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry. I am just gonna take Moral Tombstone. That's right. That's good and the planter and another woodworker. Alright, so these are my five people right now and um, what they're doing now is uh, they are forming a, a squad um, and they are picking the uh, armor that I told them to pick. So if I uh, go over with my uh, cursor um, over this squad again, I see that my squad contains now five soldiers Five of ten of them are wrestlers because they don't have any weapons right now. I need to unpause the game so they can pick up their stuff and then I see how many are axe dwarves, sword dwarves and uh, whatever. Um, the reason why this differs is um, uh, they can right now in the, in the presets they can just take whatever weapon they want. Um, you can later on 
tell them exactly what to take um, based on your own preferences but for now this is um, good enough um, okay so uh, we have this right now these five people uh, are now a squad but they are not training they are not doing anything because they have no scheduled orders so what I need to do now um, as a second thing is I need to go into S for schedule and then I see their training schedule um, this is a little bit complicated but um, these are actually the months so granite is uh, like January and so forth and uh, this is what they do at the respective time don't bother with the other stuff um, this is really the only thing that's really important um, take note of this small number here which says train 10 minimum um, what it means is that they have an order in the month uh, granite um, they are training and it's going to be at least 10 of them are training at the same time the problem with that is if you are having a squad of five people they cannot fulfill this condition and uh, they're never going to uh, on a break if I'm correct and you have to uh, modify this order so they start to train and take breaks occasionally it's because if they start to um, do some sparring with each other if you have five people you can uh, tell them okay you can train um, there's always got to be like four or three people that are uh, sparring and the rest can do can go drinking uh, chilling out uh, whatever so there's a, a good turnover all right so what we're doing is um, we are uh, going into one of these orders um, if you would have more squads you would see here other columns of them and um, I'm going now over the first order in the granite month and uh, right now it's train so I'm going to edit the order with E here and you see now um, with O you can change the order from train into defend a barrel. A barrel is, a, is an area that you can designate where they are running to. Um, you can tell them to patrol a certain route. Uh, you can uh, station them somewhere or you can really just train them. And training is what we want to do them. Right now so we leave it at training and then we are going to lower the number here for 10 soldiers minimum to 3 and then I hit shift enter and now you can see in the granite mo uh, month their train order has a train 3 minimum if I go down to the next month it's going to be train but 10 minimum again so I want them to do that the whole year the most easy way is to go here to this month again and then copy order with C now it's marked so every time I press P over another month it's going to paste the order and overwrite what was there so I'm gonna do that right now for everything and now you see in every month there is nothing if for some reason you want them to have uh, some free time uh, to go about their business you can also um, cancel their order with the X like just telling them okay in the obsidian month you don't have to trade um, you don't have to train anything okay that's uh, that's it for now so uh, they have orders um, they are in a squad and they know what to wear as uh, armor what's uh, missing is they don't have barracks right now um, that's why I leave this here as it is I can tell them to sleep in a room at will I can tell them to sleep in a barrack at, w at will if I have multiple barracks or I can assign them um, a certain barrack over um, over the menu to create a barrack is uh, really simple um, all you gotta do is just uh, go um, uh, over some beds basically and just uh, create make a bedroom and um, just tell them tell it to be barracks you don't want to do this in, in these rooms you just want to make a bigger room and you can station them probably outside so they are uh, close to their weapons and everything but uh, you just you just create it over a bed basically so okay our squad is um, almost ready um, they are accessible directly through the squad screen which is here as for uh, squads and here are all the squads listed that I have 
if I press uh, their key uh, then I have them selected and I can change their schedule because right now they are all inactive if I press T I can I can uh, put them to active training and active training is all the orders that I have set in the other screen to make them train so I press escape I press escape and hit resume and you will see soon that they are going to start pick up weapons uh, they are going to start and uh, equip their armor and everything and um, then you get some notifications that they have become something else you see it now moral tombstone has become a recruit 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 that's good all right I have three recruits already the other two they will follow and uh, then soon I have a, a full squad of soldiers so what you want to do as well is you want to create barracks and um, you also might want to build some armor and uh, weapon stands next to their barracks and you can tell them basically to store all their armor and weapons in there when they are not training so they can pick it up um, pretty fast um, normally so this is the very basic thing um, about squads now what you want to do is you want to be prepared for different situations for instance you see here um, that this is my basic uh, well other I wouldn't call it a fortress it's just more like a shelter and I have a drawbridge here and if we go up one level you see I have fortifications here right I can show you that in uh, stone sense okay this is it so if they are um, standing here they can shoot on whatever is coming in here and there's a very cool way to automate that for that you need two things you need first of all we need a squad of marksmen or marks dwarfs and we also need a Burrow that is assigned to these positions so they exactly know where to go to and then what we need on top of that is we need to have another alert so we can switch simple between an inactive training alert and a siege alert take some time to set it up but once you have that you all all you have to do is you have to switch your alert and they run all to their positions that you have assigned them to the archers they are running up here the marksman dwarfs and um, your uh, close combat dwarfs your axe dwarfs and sword dwarfs you can assign them here for instance so they can uh, uh, they can fend off any uh, invaders that are coming through here I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, the first thing um, that we want to do is we want to create another marks dwarf squad and uh, I'm pressing M for military and then I uh, create um, uh, a new squad I go over the militia commander because uh, there is always one militia commander needed per squad I uh, press uh, C for create squad I tell them this time to uh, pick the archer uniform I hit enter and uh, I assign again um, Marks Dwarfs. So make sure that you don't take any other soldiers from another squad because then you're gonna just take them out from that squad and put them in here and an easy way to see that is if you are um, if you're going over another dwarf from another squad sorry I just have a little bit then you see here squad the friendly iron so if there's showing up uh, if there is uh, something showing up right there don't assign them I can see it as well they're called recruits so they're they're not for you to take right now alright um, I'm gonna take uh, just some random people doesn't really matter right now for me so I take five um, I already made some um, some uh, crossbows I already made also some ammunition in the stocks and this is basically it right now so uh, what I'm doing right now is I set their schedule to training as well and you see now we have the friendly irons which is our first squad and we have the burns of lashing which is our uh, uh, our squad uh, of um, marks dwarfs so I'm going to do exactly the same thing as before I'm going to granite month I uh, press E for edit and uh, then I press minus until I am at four soldiers 
or three. I hit uh, Shift Enter, and then I'm going to copy the order with a C. I go down and paste everything here. All right. I want them to be active the whole um, the whole year. And what's a little bit special about Mark's dwarfs is they need to have shooting targets, like a shooting range, um, because they cannot just um, do some sparring with each other. What you need to do um, to enable that is um, um, you need to uh, press B for building and uh, then uh, go for capital A archery target which is uh, on the very bottom of the list and you're just gonna build an archery target I don't know maybe here press enter alright after I have set up these um, targets these archery targets it is very important that you need to uh, you need to tell those dwarves from where to shoot at these targets they need to have enough room it is pointless to let them shoot from this side because there is just a wall and they cannot really hit it if you don't do that they will just not um, they, they will not start to practice at all so we need to wait until they have finished that and um, meanwhile we just assume that our dwarves um, are now training and I need to ensure that by pressing S for squad and then I take my uh, B squad, the burns of lashing and I tell them to switch their schedule to active training and hit escape so uh, it's all good alright what I want to do right now is I have an active training alert and I have an inactive alert and what I also want is I want an uh, and uh, siege alert when we are being attacked. So I can configure that in the uh, alert window under military and uh, I press uh, M for military and then I uh, press uh, A for L alerts and now you see I have two alerts this, these are the different alerts here and these are the squads that are assigned to it and these are the different boroughs um, right now it says here CIV which stands for civilian and those civilians are right now um, assigned to the inactive alert um, that means everything that is defined within this alert um, is uh, actually applying to them we want to make a new alert right now so I can tell them in case of a siege you have to go underground and hide and let the military do the work and I can do that by pressing C for add alert. I will um, rename the alert by pressing capital N and I name it Siege with a few exclamation marks to uh, up the drama. I uh, press uh, enter and uh, what I'm doing right now in here is I reset or I change the schedules of these two to a specific borough that they have to be with whenever I put on the alert siege and I want the civilians to hide them. Um, right now I set up the alert but in order to do that I already need those areas to be set up so they know where they have to go. So I'm going outside of the military screen I hit W for uh, borough and I uh, add a new borough with uh, pressing A and because I already have one and um, I'm going to rename this Wait, oh, I have to define it first so I hit enter and then I can rename it with N and I'm telling it it's at the entrance press enter and then I uh, can mark like uh, another zone like a normal zone mark this area so I want everybody to stand in there or just to go here whenever the alarm siege is off Okay, that's good. So I hit escape, and then I add another barrel, which is one level up. I'm going to call this one Archers Front. Enter, and I'm going to tell them go here and here. So this is the only 
place where they should stand whenever the siege alarm goes off. So I hit escape, and you can see right now I have two alarm, uh, three alarms actually, or no, sorry, three burrows. Um, the first one um, is called burrow one, I'm going to rename that. It is actually inside. This is my whole fortress inside. I have an inside burrow. I have an, uh, an entrance bur uh, burrow, which is this one, and I have an arches front burrow. I can use these burrows now uh, and tie them to the alerts. And I do that if I go again into the military screen. I am going to the schedule for the respective squad. I hit S, and you can see now that when I press uh, star, that it's going to change now. Squad schedule, uh, squad schedules, uh, siege. Drama, 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 and they have no schedule orders for that case. So I'm going to uh, my squad friendly irons, and I'm going to tell them whenever I press the alert siege, I want you to um, to uh, do the following, and I give them an order with O. And um, now I can tell them you need to defend the burrow. I can do that by pressing O. I can switch here between the different orders and I want to tell them to defend a burrow and then I choose one of these burrows like entrance and then I have to hit enter. This is very important. As soon as it's green it's selected. If you don't do that it's not gonna work. So I tell them defend the burrows, the entrance which is now marked green and I want them to be at least three soldiers and I hit shift enter to confirm it. Okay, I'm going to copy that order with a C and then P everywhere. I want to set the uh, Marks Dwarf squad to go to the other barrel. And I do that by pressing O for give order. And then I'm telling them Archer's front, defend the barrel, Archer's front. I press enter so it's selected. Make sure that you have that. Lower the soldiers here to um, three soldiers and a minimum and shift enter. And I'm going to copy that. Make sure that you don't give them any breaks here. If you don't schedule this order over the whole year, it can happen that if you get sieged with, while they are not on schedule, they don't do anything because they don't care because they don't have any orders. So these um, emergency orders are really good to have the whole year. All right, um, this is pretty much it, I think. That's good, so I press uh, escape. I go to uh, uh, alerts again. The civilians are, they are set to inactive. It says no squats, no barrel restrictions, so no one is, uh, it's not, it's inactive. It means that they are, uh, they are able to run around wherever they want to. Um, if I go down here to active training, I see that there is a big A here. That means that they are assigned to this um, alert, which is active training. And there is now the siege alert, uh, where no one is assigned. Because no one is... we're not sieged, there is no need to do that. So, that's all cool. So, I press escape. And what I do now, if I am... Uh, if I'm being attacked, is I have a bridge here. This is the first thing that I do normally. I uh, just retract the bridge. If I think I cannot make it, I pull the lever for the bridge. And now I'm going to the screen S for squats. And then I'm going to set these two squats to my siege alert. Well, I set these two squats now um, to. Um, to the siege mode, I uh, select uh, squad A, which are the uh, uh, my melee dwarfs. Uh, I set them to uh, here with T. I set them to siege, and my B squad, the marks dwarfs, as well. What should happen now is if I on pause, is the my uh, my um, melee dwarfs should come here, and the marks dwarfs should go up if everything is correct. So I on pause. The bridge is in. So you see the first people are arriving. There we go. My marks dwarfs, they are waiting here for uh, any victims. And uh, this is garden now as well. If we look at the people with uh, V, 
we can see that uh, they have uh, already some iron stuff here, like the iron breastplate and the iron shield, the high boots, short sword. Uh, I don't have. Uh, yeah, there is shield and, and everything. So they are pretty uh, mediocre armed, but they are not as defenseless as civilians. Um, yeah, there you go. They were all there. It's pretty good. So that worked. And right, and uh, the uh, ultimate thing to do now is to tell them to attack a certain enemy. And um, this is pretty simple. You can either tell them to stay in the barrow here and uh, attack, or um, what you can do is uh, you can also uh, send them out um, to attack something if the if the need arises. And you can do that by pressing uh, S for squads and uh, select the squad that you want to and uh, issue an attack order with K. You can um, uh, basically select um, the the monsters that you want to uh, fight. So if there would be a monster standing here, I could select it and then just uh, um, issue this uh, kill order. If you want to have multiple people killed because there are like 20 goblins in front of your fort, you uh, just press R for select in rectangle and you just make a rectangle that covers every every uh, every one of them, every last of them, and then they will go after them all until they are dead. Make sure that after they have fulfilled their orders that you delete these orders because they will not move even if they have fulfilled their orders. Um, you have to cancel these orders afterwards with O so they can go back to their normal schedule which is Siege right now and um, um, and, and then you can uh, reset the uh, the schedule to inactive for training. Otherwise, they will just stand out there in the field and make sure that those dead people are staying dead. All right, uh, there's uh, just uh, one more thing that I want to tell you, which was um, the archery target. Um, uh, you see here that I have built it. It's uh, important for your marks dwarfs uh, to um, to to. Uh, to practice and uh, you go over it with Q and then you make an archery range with R you can uh, pretty big I don't know uh, press enter and here you can tell them to shoot from where right now they're shooting from left to right that means they will shoot from here to here that's not really good and uh, I can change the shooting direction with uh, WASD and I want them to shoot from uh, top to bottom and um, they will now shoot from here to here which is a good thing and I can set up multiple archery targets within that range here so they will uh, start to practice there and um, use your ammo for good. Um, that's uh, basically it. Um, this is a, a very basic overview over uh, uh, the military and um, I hope it helped you. If you have any questions uh, make sure you write them down below in, um, in the commentary section and uh, I try to get back to you.